Good morning from the news team in the southeast. Officials are working to trace patients of two healthcare workers in Brighton who were among eight people in the UK to be diagnosed with coronavirus. It comes after the County Oak Medical Centre in Brighton was temporarily closed for deep cleaning yesterday. The pair are believed to have been in contact with around a dozen patients. Five of the eight people in the UK now diagnosed with the virus are from Brighton and Hove, but experts say we still shouldn't be unduly worried. Obviously you need to be aware of it, it's a new virus, we don't know how it's, how it's going to be spreading around, but to put it in context, so far the number of cases who've had laboratory conf the number of people who've had laboratory confirmation of influenza in the UK in the last month is over 2,000. So that, that compares with eight who've been definitely confirmed as having coronavirus. Three dealers who ran a drugs network in Gravesend have been sentenced to a total of ten and a half years in prison. Prince Okachukwu orchestrated the network from his home in Belvedere, while Luther Parker and Che Williams were running the drugs for him. A woman from Brighton and her fiancé is among those set to have the first same-sex marriage ceremonies in Northern Ireland today. Following years of campaigning, MPs at Westminster backed amendments to extend same-sex marriage last year. Sharmi Edwards and Robin Peoples will tie the knot in County Antrim later. A herd of wild ponies are being brought into Grey's Land in Hastings Country Park. The five ponies from Exmoor are replacing a herd that left last year. They're part of a mixed grazing system where ponies and cattle manage the park's landscape, which includes some of the most threatened habitats in the UK. A giant model of the moon goes on display at Rochester Cathedral this week. The Museum of the Moon has been shown around the world, including over a swimming pool in France and in Brighton. Each centimetre of its seven-metre diameter represents five kilometres of the moon's surface. The cathedral installed a crazy golf in its nave last summer in a bid to attract more uh, visitors. And now weather next with Kate Kinsella. Good morning. It's a chilly start this morning, but it is still windy. That breeze widely gusting this morning, 35 to 45 miles per hour this afternoon, likely to be a bit stronger. It should, however, stay largely dry. Now, we are at risk of one or two showers. You'll notice the wind gusts in the black discs there, blowing those showers through quite quickly. The gusts likely to increase as those showers pass. Temperatures around 7 or 8 Celsius, a bit more sunshine around today. Now, overnight, again, at risk of one or two showers over higher ground, might fall a little bit wintry but largely dry and clear and the wind actually falls a little lighter minimum down to one or two celsius so a chilly start tomorrow lovely and bright with some sunshine perhaps a bit more cloud the risk of some showers in the afternoon then it's all change again for thursday low pressure back in charge so it turns rather wet and very windy that's it from me for now for more information please do visit our website and we'll be back in half an hour goodbye